and welcome to oat milk or if this is your first time hello welcome nice to meet you i want to talk today about another kind of minimalist cliche and that's uh things i only own one of so let's jump right into it the first thing that i only own one of is a mirror so i have one mirror on my wall there and um this apartment has some other mirrors like in the bathroom and on a couple of walls that i uh you know, it already came with, so I didn't need to add any more. And so it really <laughs> validates me only having one mirror. And you know, sometimes when I see people taking really cool mirror selfies, I'm like, man, I should buy some more mirrors and take cool selfies like that. But honestly, my mirror setups are already pretty cool. And I'm sure people think that about my selfies as much as I think that about other people's selfies. So for the time being, I'm good with my one mirror. If I lived in an apartment with no other mirrors, Maybe it would be a different story, but while I'm here, I'm good. All right, um, the next thing I only own one of, this is kind of a fun double. Uh, I have one fan and one humidifier. So one thing to make the area around immediately around me colder and one thing to make the area immediately around me warmer. Um, my apartment also has a heater, which it's getting colder. I should probably turn that on, um, but I don't, feel the need to have multiple fans or humidifiers and like one for each room or something like that when I can just bring it with me or like do other things to control the temperature. So as much as uh, it might be more convenient to have like one for each room or something, it would probably just end up driving up the power bill and that's it. All right, <laughs> this one is kind of a fun one. I wanted to throw that in. I only have one butter knife. Um, that's just how it ended up. I don't really know how. I have had different numbers of butter knives before, but right now I think I only have one. My previous roommate might have left some that I guess are now mine, but uh, I only have one butter knife that I know of. And that's really fine because not a lot of things that I do in the kitchen involve butter knives. Like, I don't know, whenever I'm like, like I spread things on toast, but most of the time I don't need it to be with a butter knife specifically. Like peanut butter, sometimes it makes more sense to use a spoon. Um, and also like, even though I don't use butter knives that frequently, like I can still just like wash it and then reuse it if I like had to for some reason. So I'm good with one butter knife, even though it's kind of a strange thing to only have one of. Um, the next thing, I only have one shoe of each kind of type of shoe. Like I have um, two pairs of everyday shoes that I'll just wear when I'm popping out to check the mail or I don't know, I guess I would wear them when I went to class, but now I don't have to wear shoes for that. Um, one for like when it's raining and one for when it's sunny, because um, I'm not going to wear sandals when it rains, um, and I don't want to wear boots when it's hot. All right, uh, and then I have, um, you know, like one formal shoe and then one shoe for like going on walks. All right, and then um, the next thing, I only have one makeup look. Um, if I'm going to wear any makeup at all, it's really going to be in the same way. Uh, especially because I've decluttered so much of my makeup, I'm going to do the same things every single time I wear my makeup. I'll wear a lip, um, mascara, and occasionally a tiny bit of eyeshadow and eyeliner and maybe blush. Like, that's really it. Um, and I'm going to do the same things with those products every time I wear them, which also still isn't that frequent. So it's really like one look with varying degrees of how much effort I put, um, but it's still only one. All right. Um, the next thing that I only have one of is a speaker. Um, I like to listen to music when I'm getting ready in the morning especially, or I like to sing sometimes at night. And I really only need one speaker for all that. It's waterproof, it's small, but loud enough that I can just carry it with me no matter what part of my house I'm in. So it works really well. Um, yeah, I don't feel the need to have like fancy, large, multiple speakers when the one just does the job. Although the one thing about the speaker is um, it's like Bluetooth on my phone, right? And it has like an app where you can turn it on and off from. And every time I turn it off, it makes this sound that, and it scares me every time, even when I like literally just told it to turn off. Like I should have known this was coming and somehow I'm startled every single time. I'm sure there's like a setting that I could turn that off, but it's such like a momentary thing that I just never remember to. Um, anyways, the next thing that I only have one of is one active notebook. This is the notebook that I do absolutely everything in right now from 
writing the list for this video to like journaling to like therapy homework everything is in this notebook right now and that's it i'm getting pretty close to the end not really um but as soon as i finish it up i'll move on to a different notebook and this will you know no longer be the active notebook in the past i've had like lots of different notebooks for lots of different purposes you know at least one for each class, a bullet journal, like a brain dump journal, all sorts of different journals active at one time. And I would actually, I would use them all like every single day or thereabouts. But it really just got to the point where it's like, I'm not having these organized in a way that is like Pinteresty and cute. So, and I'm not like really referring back to the things I've written before. So it makes the most sense for me to just use one journal one page after the next and only keep one active at a time and then uh, move on to the next one. And so maybe this makes it slower for me to use up all the notebooks I have, but it just makes more sense for the way that I use journals. Uh, because I really don't go back, you know? I have no idea what's in the earlier parts of this journal and I'm a little afraid to look because my handwriting is bad and I don't always journal things that make sense and I don't need to go back to it, you know? Um, I'm not the kind of person that needs like a planner with a to-do list in it. I have, I, I know what I have to do. I, I know what I have to write a term paper proposal after this and then I need to work on my um, research project. That's, I don't, I don't need a bullet journal for that. Um, but like no hate for bullet journals. That stuff is cool. If you're good at bullet journaling, I'm impressed. So keep up the good work, I guess. Um, but it's not really for me. Uh, and that's fine. I just have one active notebook at a time. All right, and the next thing that I only have one of is one monitor. I just have my one computer with one monitor. Um, and sometimes I wish I had multiple. Um, and a lot of people do have multiple monitors and that works for them and like no hate obviously because sometimes I do wish I had two monitors so I could like have everything laid out separately all at once. But also like, I find that most of the times when I want that, it usually benefits me more, or I mean enough, to just like close some things I'm not working on because I'm getting overwhelmed anyway. Um, and that way I can just sort of focus on one thing at a time and then move on to the next thing, which uh, I just need one monitor for. Uh, and you know, I don't really need things to be bigger. My eyesight's fine. Um, so one monitor really gets the job done. And uh, yeah, I only have one monitor and it's not even like, it's just my laptop, you know, it's fine. It does the job. I don't need more than that. All right, the last thing that I only have one of, this one's kind of funny, but I threw it in just because, just because. I only have one hat. Um, it's a beanie from the podcast Night Vale and I wear it to be warm in the winter time. That's really it. I don't wear hats the rest of the time. I really want to be a hat person. I think hats are very cool and it's so interesting that as like a Western society, we used to wear hats like all the time. Like when you went out, you had to be wearing a hat that was somehow more uh, godly. I'm not sure. Um, but then we stopped around World War II and I think that's really interesting that now we just don't have that at all. Um, also like a lot of hats are really cool and they look so good on other people, but I just get annoyed by having too many things on my head. Like even this headband, I'm probably gonna take it off later because it's gonna bother me. Um, so I'm just, and also I just, I don't really know what kind of hats work with like my style and that's just not something that I'm going to invest the effort into right now. So maybe in the future someday I'll figure out how to be a hat person. But uh, for, as for now, I have one beanie for when it's cold and that's really enough. Uh, so yeah, that was 10 things that I only own one of. Um, yeah, it's a minimalist cliche, but I tried to include ones that were at least interesting and entertaining, even if, you know, maybe 10 other people included them in their videos too. So I hope you enjoyed this list and hanging out with me and Seal Celia. Um, see you next week with another video about minimalism. Bye! Thanks for coming!